I say about Harbor Freight, they had the opportunity to do this, and uh, I think they slept on it, and now they're paying the price, honestly, in uh, importing. That I. Talk about some uh, Ace hardware today because I think this is a good topic. More specifically, we're going to talk about their tools. To be honest with you, uh, they've got Dwalt Milwaukee. This is what I like about a uh, Craftsman. This is what I like about Ace is that um, they're also offering Ego. They're kind of a small town hardware store, but still offering uh, those uh, big box names. Let's jump right into the tools here. Uh, let's see. We let's get into some hand tools because I really want to focus on the craftsman stuff. To be honest with you, multi-bit drivers. Let's see what they got to offer here. Let's just go to the meat and potatoes of things, shall we? Ooh, look at this flexible claw hammer. Uh, hand tools, multi-tools, jigs, locking pliers. What do you guys want to see in here? Pickup tools. We don't want to look at nothing. Let's look at ratchets. Everybody loves a good ratchet. So they can sell the V-Series for $179.99, which is not a bad deal. We got the Craftsman 3H driver pair head. These are all made in Taiwan, I believe. Some of them might be in China. Now, do I do want you to pay attention. You have to watch because Ace does carry some of the older Craftsman uh, China stuff. So uh, there's the V-Series without comfort grip handle. Um, the Craftsman V series. Oh, look at that. A speeder handle. Guys, a good speeder handle is just, you can't pass up. Look at the little stubby. $54.98. Flex head. They got, they've got all the V series stuff here. V series tools for days. Craftsman is definitely, and we haven't even seen the USA made line, which is really cool. I like about, uh, and there's 92 products in here. We haven't even seen, they got the Milwaukee. We haven't even seen the USA line. Of tools yet so this is pretty cool to see that ace is offering all this stuff and uh let's look at some other stuff now i want to compare something really quick while we're on here i want to look at harbor freight versus uh crafts or crafts so i had a question the other day from a young man uh who sent me a message and he said i'm looking to buy a toolbox what do you think now i i, I think people overlook craftsmen here and i honestly like these uh upper boxes and of course this is kind of a Milwaukee, and I think Husky kind of makes something similar. But Craftsman, Stanley Black & Decker bought Waterloo Toolboxes, well, the Waterloo Toolbox in Sedalia, Missouri. And if you look right here, we're going to look at a couple of boxes to compare. Uh, definitely take a mental note of the prices here. Um, $629, $574. So we're going to say roughly about $500. For the bottom box on the double bank, uh, $369 for the top, $499. Um, we've got another one here, 41 inch for $424. And then we have $329 and $389. So take a mental note of that. Let's look at the Harbor Freight US General line. One thing I do appreciate about looking at this stuff online is I don't have to go in and smell the store. So as you see here, the 44 inch, 22 inch double bank. Uh, U.S. General is 44, 619 for the 44 inch and 359 for those two boxes. Let's go back and look at the Craftsman real quick. So we can look right here at the Craftsman 2000 series, uh, the 26 incher, and that is 389. For 30 bucks more, you can get a Made in the USA toolbox. Let's look at the top box right there. They actually beat the 40. Now, granted, the 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 U.S. General is a little bit bigger and. It has a longer drawer up top, but it is a 574 for that toolbox. Uh, 489 for this one, the 40, 41 inch. And uh, the 52 inch bottom box combo, 18 drawer combo, is $1,000. The bottom is 569 for a much bigger box. Every one of these prices beats a 44 inch US General. I can't make this stuff up, guys. Right there's a deal. And a 56 inch is 19, 919. Harbor Freight prices are not that great. And not only that, I don't think you're getting quite the quality of toolbox. That's an 18 to 20 gauge. Let's look at the specs on the U.S. General. They will... You, Harbor Freight has a very big tendency of, of pulling smoke and mirrors up. 14,000 cubic inch. It says industrial all steel construction. And they don't really give... Uh, 
the specs on the gauge of steel they're using which is not only that and not only that it's a 90 day warranty the craftsman does not have that i'm pretty sure a craftsman has at least a one year on it but as we see right here there's no warranty i'm sorry no specs on the gauge of steel now we're going to look right here at the 52 inch since that's the biggest baddest unit here and it's still cheaper than that box uh 52 inch 1500 pounds let's look at the specifications steel slides 18,000 cubic inches 1500 pounds thousand a hundred pound drawer slide soft close on top of that i'm pretty sure i saw the specifications for the gauge of steel in here no ratings or reviews <clears throat> I don't know why I can't find that now, but I saw that they were 18 to 20 gauge steel. I know for a fact if I look at the top box of one of these, we'll see. Hold on one second. As you see right here, it's 18 20 gauge steel, iframe construction with top and top bumpers. So they're actually giving that plus the pegboard holes. Honestly, guys, uh, I'm going to spend the money extra for to get the USA Craftsman stuff versus uh, Harbor Freight. So in my opinion uh craftsman's winning and we haven't even like i said we haven't even seen the full line get dumped on craftsman but guys craftsman's coming back in a way that i'm i'm pretty excited about that they're actually building and this is what i say about harbor freight they had the opportunity to do this and uh, i think they slept on it and now they're paying the price honestly in uh importing that i think the biggest problem is is why a lot of these prices are so expensive on uh harbor freight lately is because of the fact that uh they have to import this stuff guys they're not even manufacturing anything so somebody else is making this then they're putting on a ship and getting it over here overseas and now you have this price where it's not competitive to the market and that's kind of one of the cool things about being able to buy usa made stuff in my opinion but uh just going back here to buy a whole u.s general top and bottom box let's even a single bank you're looking at uh 229 and 359 so for just shy of 60 600 you can get a single bay box and if we go to the craftsman they're 329 and 389 so you're going to pay about 100 bucks more for a usa made and i think it's a better quality toolbox let's see if we got a warranty on this just to be fair so i had to go and uh search on the craftsman reps website here but it looks like they're uh toolboxes are one year and a three year that's a series 1000 okay let's look here so the series 2000 has a 10 year limited warranty on the craftsman box guys for a hundred dollars i'm gonna tell you right now that's insurance i'll take over a 90 day warranty anyway any day of the week uh if for me it's craftsman for the win once again harbor freight is just not competing being competitive anymore uh you know i know a lot of you know that i'm not a big fan of harbor freight but this is why because if you really read the fight and print and go through and look at things you're gonna find out there's better options out there and honestly for another hundred dollars i think i'm getting a better toolbox better casters the pegboard on the side made in usa even though it is global components uh global components can be as simple as using just caster wheels in fact i know for a fact that some of the mac boxes are global components because they use ca canadian casters so uh that's why they get ca called that lyle has the same situation one part they have to import and uh, the whole set is being called that so it's always subjective when you hear that global component stuff and it's obviously better than made overseas in my opinion i just think you're getting a better quality tool so guys let me know in that comment box appreciate you watching remember like comment share subscribe ring that bell remember keep your hands dirty and your money clean thanks for watching